Hi, and welcome back. Guess what I did? I went and bought another Baofeng radio. I was looking on uh, Amazon and it said they had a new generation UV5RA 8 watt radio. And I think it was $39, but there was a 30% coupon and I picked it up. I think I picked it up for like $25 or $26. So I said, uh, why not? So let's go ahead, open it up and see what we got here. All right. Oh, got our owner's manual. Got our radio and the battery. Now the battery here is rated at um, 2100 milliamps and I was looking at the old batteries they were rated at 1800 so um, looks like it has a little bit of a bigger battery the faceplate uh, said in the description it's metal now I'm not sure uh, looks like it is and if we open it up, we have our battery charger and the antenna is supposed to be, it claims it will um, transmit and receive 25% better than the other antenna. It said it's a 5 dB antenna. So let's go ahead and put everything together. Okay, I have it all built together. And first thing I noticed is you know the battery is supposed to be 20 percent higher capacity and if you look at it compared to the original um, uv5r you can see the batteries um, a little bit thicker so that's how they were able to make the the capacity bigger and also i noticed it's supposed to receive and have a uh, have a range of 25 percent better but i notice the antenna is shorter and it's a lot thicker than uh, traditional antenna in fact if we take them off and measure them the original antenna is approximately six and a half inches and the newer antenna on the uv 5ra comes in at about five and three quarters inches so it's it's uh, three fourths of an inch uh, inch smaller than the original antenna, and like I said, it's a it's a lot thicker than the original antenna. Now, just for the heck of it, I thought I would weigh the antennas. The original antenna weighs uh, half an ounce, and the new antenna weighs. It was fluctuating between 0.6 and 0.7 of an ounce. So it weighs, it actually is smaller, but it actually weighs more than the original antenna. All right, let's weigh the radios without the batteries. Okay, the original UV5R weighs exactly four ounces without the battery. Whereas the new UV5RA weighs four and a half ounces. So it weighs half an ounce uh, more than the original UV5R. And I'm going to guess the half an ounce is probably in the construction. As you can see, the original UV5R is plastic all the way around. Whereas the new UV5RA has, it looks like... Um, a lot of metal construction in it and then just for the heck of it let's weigh the batteries as you can see the new battery is obviously thicker and if we weigh this battery it weighs 3.2 ounces and the original battery weighs 2.8 ounces and like I said if you look at it's the capacity on this one's 1800 on the old battery and the new battery is 2100 
and they're both 7.4 volts. Now, interesting on the original UV5R, if you look at the frequency range, it's 136 to 174 megahertz and 400 to 520 megahertz. And then if we look at the new UV5RA, it doesn't even give a frequency range. Now I was reading the specifications in the book and looking on the radio, it's supposed to be an eight watt radio, but nowhere can I find anywhere it says eight watts. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna sync this on the computer first so it matches my other radio and then I thought we might uh, hook it up to my um, SWR power meter and see what kind of power we get from this. Okay we've hooked up the Suricom to it and we have it set on 144.125 and let's see what kind of watts it puts out. Oops push the right button here. Okay. And we're putting out 5.59 watts. Now, according to the ad on Amazon, let's see, we're on frequency 144.125. And if you look here, we have the antenna on it. It should put out 7.12 watts. So let's go ahead and see what it does with the antenna. Wow. Let's do that. 3.2 watts. And look at that. SWR 8.99. Okay, that's really bad. Let's try that again. Wow, that SWR is high and only putting out two watts. That's, yeah, that's <laughs> nowhere near um, 7.12 watts. All right, I hooked up the stock antenna and let's see what we get with that. Two point three four and three point eight six watts. All right, on my Amazon order, I just happened I wanted to buy another antenna, and I bought this. I guess it's Retibus, or I'm probably not pronouncing it right, but anyway, um, I bought this antenna. I think it was nine dollars. It had pretty good reviews. Maybe it's uh, Regis, I'm not sure, but it's the RND701 antenna. So let's go ahead and hook that up to the radio and see what we get. All right, now the stock antenna gave us a reading of 2.34 on the SWR. So let's see what we get with this new antenna. Okay, 2.74 and 6 watts. Okay, that's not bad. That's much better. All right, we're going to try the two meter national calling frequency. Let's see with the with the stock antenna we get an SWR 4.73 and we're putting out 3.56 watts. All right, so the stock antenna did a little better that time. All right, here is the original UB5R antenna. Wow, look at that. 1.01 .01 SWR and 5.62 watts. And my new antenna that I just bought, again, the RHD701. Let's see how it does on the two meter calling frequency. 3.01 on SWR. Okay, so the stock antenna beat both these antennas. And we're going to try the 70 centimeter calling frequency. Let's see what we get. This is the stock antenna on the UV5R4. 
SWR 2.95 and 5 watts. Stock antenna from the original UV5R. 3.24, 4.89 watts. And the RHD701 antenna. Let's see what it does on the 70, on the 70 centimeter national calling frequency. 4.49, 4.71 watts. Right, just for the heck of it, I pulled out my Niogi. Um, let's see, this is the NA771 and we're on the 70 meter 70 centimeter calling frequency okay and you can see this one um a 1.49 swr 5.28 watts let's go ahead and change it down to the two meter calling frequency and just see what we get with the niogi antenna Two point six two five point seven watts. All right. So the verdict on this radio, I think the radio itself is pretty nice. The bigger battery feels nice in your hand. Seems to have. Uh, I think it is a metal case construction. I was thinking the outside, but I think the inside is all metal. Uh, that would account for it being a little heavier. The antenna, no good on the antenna. I don't see how you could get twenty five percent. Um, increase in range on this. I really don't. My aftermarket antenna I bought, the RHD701, okay, but you know, not as good as the original stock antenna on the UV5R. That appeared to be the best antenna. Uh, probably excluding my Naogi antenna here, which is like a 15 inch antenna and um, has a pretty good range. So I'll probably leave that antenna on this radio. And most of the time I just use these radios as a scanner anyway. But when I go hiking, I want to try getting on a couple mountain peaks and seeing how far out I can get with this radio. So for $25, not a bad radio. And uh, we'll see how it performs. I, of course, I don't have a spectrum an analyzer, so I can hook it up to, to that. But um, maybe someone out there um, that has one could try that and we could see uh, how clean the signal is with this. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, thank you to all my subscribers. Um, I've noticed lately uh, I'm starting to get a lot more views and subscribers. I'm thrilled for that. So thanks again, and I will see you next time.